What's up guys, Mark here back with another quick design video. Today I just wanted to make a really quick video to show you guys how you can create some of these uh, banner or, or ribbons in Adobe Illustrator. It's a super easy thing to do and one of the cool things about it is that you can create one which I, is this one up here that I created and you can simply just add effects and a couple of minor tweaks to get all these other shapes out of it. So yeah, uh, no time like the present, let's get into it. So the first thing we want to do is use the pen tool so just hit P on your keyboard and what we're going to do is we're going to create one half of the banner basically and then we're just going to duplicate it uh, and mirror it that way it's perfectly symmetrical so I'm just going to create three points with the pen tool I'm going to click I'm going to hold down shift and go out to the left click with shift still held down I'm going to go down below click again and then go back over to this middle part here don't worry too much about the dimensions on this, it's super easy to change this, we can always scale it to be thicker if you wanted to, or, or shorter even. Super, super easy, so don't worry too much about that. Now the next thing I want to do is actually just duplicate this shape to save myself some time. So what I'm going to do is hold down Alt and Shift and then click and drag it at about 45 degrees to bring it down here. Um, in fact I might move this over a little bit further as well. And what I'm going to do is now use the direct selection tool, which is A on the keyboard or the solid arrow up, up here. And click on this point here and then hold down shift and drag it in. I'm going to do the same thing with this point below, but I'm not going to take it quite as far and I'll show you why. Because we want there to be a bit of an overlap here. So what we can do now is once again, grab the pen tool, click this point here, hold shift and click up here on this path unselect this now back to the pen tool again and I'm going to put another point from this corner down to this corner so now I've created that sort of overlapping ribbon looking effect so now what I want to do is add the sort of triangular shape to the end of this this ribbon so to do that I'm just going to select this line here I'm going to press the plus icon on my keyboard which is to add an anchor point to this to this shape and I'm going to click right here where it intersects so now I've added an extra point. All I have to do is select that. Again, direct selection tool, A on the keyboard. Select that point, hold down shift, and just drag it in a bit. So now I've got that triangle shape. So now all I need to do is select this half of the ribbon, uh, copy and then paste it. I'm going to right click it, transform, and then reflect it. Click OK, drag it up here to the point that it intersects. And there you go, now I have a super long ribbon. So obviously you could have uh, easily adjusted the proportions of this before creating it. What I'll do is I'll, I'll just select all of it and then group it so it stays as one object. I'm gonna bump it up to be a bit thicker. And what I'll do now is I'll show you how to create some of these, these ones down here. It's actually super easy. I'm gonna hold down Alt and click and drag to make a copy of this. I'm gonna go up to Effect, down to Warp, and then click on Arc. And so you can see that straight away, uh, Illustrator's handled this pretty well. This is one of the good things about designing with the pen tool and working with lines and shapes like this, is that when you do some of these warp effects, uh, uh, they handle it really, really well. Unlike if you use it for text, for example, it becomes a bit skewed and a bit uh, awkward looking. But I can use any of these to create some pretty cool looking effects. Rise is another good one. So you could click this uh, and then just duplicate it and you know create a few banners that are sort of in a, in a row for a title or something like that as well. So yeah, plenty of good effects there that you can play with. Um, you can still grab it, shrink it in if you like, whatever you want to do. Um, adjust the stroke on it easily as well to make it thicker or thinner. So plenty of stuff there to do. Hopefully that made sense for you guys. What I might do actually is just save this Illustrator file. And I'll actually put a link in the description so that if any of you uh, would like to take a bit of a shortcut, you can just grab this file that I've done and uh, have a play with that and see how it all works. But if anything didn't make sense, by all means, ask away in the comments and I'll do my best to help. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, guys.